Once you link a CAD file into a Revit project, there are several options to control the linked file. In the exercise files for this chapter, there is a CAD site plan that you can link to this project. Switch to the site plan view. To link the CAD file into the site plan view, on the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Link CAD. Revit displays the Link CAD Formats dialog. Select SitePlan.dwg. In the Positioning drop-down, choose Auto Origin to Origin. Then deselect Orient to View and click Open. Once Revit reads the file and brings it in, you can see it in the view. Select the linked CAD file. When you do, on the Contextual ribbon, in the Import Instance panel, there are three tools. When you click Delete Layers, Revit displays the Select Layers Levels to Delete dialog. Here, you can simply choose layers in the linked DWG file to delete. If this were a DGN file, you would be selecting Levels. The tools on the right allow you to select all layers, none of the layers, or invert the selection. Click Cancel to close this dialog. With the linked CAD file still selected, you can see that the Explode tool is not available in the contextual ribbon. This tool is only available when you import a CAD file. You cannot explode a linked CAD file. Lastly, the Query tool allows you to determine the identity of an imported or linked object. It will also show you which layer the object resides on. For example, click Query and then select any line in the linked CAD file. When you do, an Import Instance Query dialog displays. Here, you can see the type of object, the block name if it belongs to a block, the layer level, and the style by. You also have the option to delete the layer or level of the object right here in this dialog. Or you can select Hide in View to simply turn off the visibility of the layer or level in this view. Click OK to close the dialog. Looking in the Properties palette, you can see the base level and base offset of the linked CAD file. You can adjust these values as needed to place the CAD file in the correct position. In the Dimension section, you can see the Instance Scale. However, this value is read-only and cannot be modified. But when you click Edit Type, you can control the Import Units and Scale Factor for imported symbols. Click Cancel to close this dialog. You can also see the name of the linked CAD file in the Properties palette, which is the file name. You can control the shared site as well. Deselect the CAD file. The Manage Links tool in the Link panel on the Insert ribbon will open the Manage Links dialog. Note that the Manage Links tool is also available on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. When you select Manage Links, Revit displays the Manage Links dialog. Switch to the CAD Formats tab. The status is shown as Loaded. You can load and unload links to control their display. The Positions Not Saved setting indicates if the linked file's position has been saved in the shared coordinate system. Since you did not publish or acquire the shared coordinates before, this setting is not active yet. The size simply reports the size of the linked CAD file. The saved path value shows the location of the linked file within the computer file system. When you click in the Path Type field and expand the drop-down, you can see that this can be either a relative or an absolute path. Relative is the default. You might need to use an absolute path if you use Microsoft Distributed File System DFS namespaces, 
or if your host project and linked files are not on the same drive. When you select the linked file, other tools become active. Remove permanently removes the linked file from the project. This cannot be undone. You would have to recreate the link. Be aware that removing a link from the host model could cause you to lose critical annotations or elements hosted in the link. If you simply no longer need to see the linked file, you can click Unload. When you do, the status changes to Not Loaded. When you click OK to close the Manage Links dialog, the linked file is no longer visible. On the Manage ribbon, in the Manage Project panel, click Manage Links to display the Manage Links dialog again. Switch back to the CAD Formats tab. To reload the linked file, select the linked file and then click Reload to reload the same file from the same location. Now, the status has changed back to Loaded. If the name of the linked file had changed, or if you had moved the linked file to a different folder, you would click Reload From. In that case, Revit displays the Find Link dialog so that you can navigate to the folder and select the CAD file to link. Select the SitePlan.dwg file and click Open. Pay attention to the Import tool. This tool imports the linked CAD file into the Revit project. At that point, it would no longer appear in this dialog, and any changes made to the CAD file would not be updated in the Revit project. You can also use the Add tool in this dialog to link additional CAD files. Clicking Add opens the Link CAD Formats dialog. Click Cancel to close this dialog. Lastly, pay attention to the Preserve Graphic Override setting. This setting allows you to keep any graphic overrides made to the CAD file. Click OK to close the Manage Links dialog.